Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making white chocolate ganache tart. We're gonna use French short pastry called pat sablé for crust and rich white chocolate ganache. And to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm making a mini ones, strawberry, raspberry and dark chocolate swirl. My inspiration for this recipe was a large white chocolate ganache and raspberry tart I made for my friend's birthday. We had a tiny little party since we were getting out of quarantine, we couldn't invite a lot of people, but we certainly had a lot of fun. Let's talk about Pat Sablé. Unlike a flaky pie crust, Pat Sablé is crisp and more cookie-like. The name literally means sandy, although it's anything but. It's very creamy and buttery. Pat Sablé is the richest of all the French short pastry crust. It is used to make sweet tarts, it has more calories than all of them, and the most flavor. Here is your basic recipe for pat sablé. You're gonna need 10 tablespoons of unsalted butter at room temperature. We're gonna match it up with 10 tablespoons of icing sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, quarter of a teaspoon of salt, cup and three quarters of cake and pastry flour. You're also gonna need one egg yolk from raw egg and one egg yolk from hard boiled egg. And this is how you can tell those apart. The one that's hard boiled spins, the one that's raw doesn't. In a bowl of a stand-up mixer, we're gonna add our softened butter, to which we're gonna add our icing sugar, and using paddle attachment, we're gonna cream those together until a very smooth and creamy consistency. At this point, we're gonna add one raw egg, and we're gonna cream those together. Make sure the raw egg yolk is completely mixed in. And here comes the boiled egg yolk. And zester is probably the best one to use because we're gonna turn this boiled egg yolk into a powder. And the reason it's added to the dough, since this dough is very delicate, the boiled egg yolk is gonna make it a little bit easier to handle. Continue creaming your egg yolks with butter and at this point we're just gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're not gonna go too crazy on it, but we just want our uh, pastry to have just a little bit of flavor, just a little bit of vanilla flavor. So quarter of a teaspoon should be enough. And then you're gonna sift through your cake and pastry flour and salt directly into a mixing bowl. And um, if you don't have a cake and pastry flour, you can just add one tablespoon of cornstarch to your all-purpose flour. And then we will um, mix a quick dough. Don't over mix your dough. As soon as your dough forms, you should stop your mixer and your pat sablé is ready. Transfer your soft dough onto a plastic wrap. We're gonna form a disc. And now is a very important step. This dough has to be chilled at least two to three hours. As far as the tart baking dish, they're all supposed to look like this. They're supposed to have this part that comes out for easy tart removal. And I have six mini ones. Hopefully I will be able to use all of them. If you don't have tart baking forms, you can use the pie form. Our piece of dough has chilled and we're ready to make our tarts. Just lay a serrano wrap on your table surface because we're gonna be rolling it out on a serrano wrap. And I'm gonna cut this piece of dough into quarters. I'm planning to make six little tarts, mini tarts out of this amount of dough. Uh, since we're gonna have some scraps and this will allow us to make more But place one quarter of the dough on the serrano wrap and cover it with another piece of serrano wrap and Since this dough is very delicate. This is how it gets rolled out. Do not add any more flour um, Adding a little bit more flour to your dough is gonna make it a little bit tough and this is how you can pick it up uh, along with your serrano wrap piece and place it into a tart form. Push your piece of dough firmly into the tart form and just cut the excess with a knife and save the scraps, those are priceless. 
And this tart is not ready to be baked. It has to be refrigerated for 30 minutes. After your tarts have been refrigerated, puncture each one with a fork. This will prevent them from rising. And if you have any scraps left, you can just make more tarts. And I have made these ones. I haven't decided what I'm going to fill those up with, but I certainly will find the use for it. Place your tarts directly onto the oven rack and we're going to bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes or until the edges are slightly golden brown. Let your tart shells to cool down a little bit until you start decorating them. And for the first one, I'm going to use fresh raspberries. And because my shells are kind of shallow, I'm going to cut each raspberry in half and place it inside the tart and look how beautiful it looks. For the second one, I'm going to use fresh strawberries and I'm going to cut each strawberry in half and then I'm going to cut them in kind of a fan design and place them along the sides of the tart shell. And for the third tart, I'm going to use half a cup of chopped pistachios and half a cup of chopped dark chocolate. We're going to fill our tarts with white chocolate ganache and ganache is a glaze, icing, sauce or filling for pastries made from just two ingredients, chocolate and cream, sometimes butter added to the recipe. For white chocolate ganache, we're going to need 350 grams of white chocolate pieces, 120 milliliters of heavy cream and 56 grams, which is quarter of a cup of unsalted butter. Keep in mind that ratio for making ganache is 3 to 1. 3 parts of chocolate to 1 part of cream. We're going to place heavy cream, butter and chocolate pieces in a microwave safe dish. And we're going to place it in the microwave. Then we're going to start melting our chocolate in 1 minute increments. So we're going to do 1 minute. We're going to mix it. And if you can see still um, undissolved pieces of chocolate, you can do another 30 seconds in the microwave and just mix your ganache until it's smooth and very creamy and there are no pieces of chocolate left. Then while our chocolate ganache is still kind of liquidy, we're going to fill up our tarts. Make sure it's all covering our berries. So we're going to fill up the raspberry tart and the strawberry tarts and to the rest of the chocolate ganache we're gonna add some chopped pistachios and some chocolate dark chocolate pieces we're gonna mix it quickly because at this point our chocolate ganache have cooled down a little bit and hopefully we're gonna get some swirl of dark chocolate and white chocolate in our tarts and if you have um, a little pieces of white chocolate left there, then just place them on the top and so it looks very pretty. Refrigerate your tarts for 30 minutes before you start decorating them. So the chocolate ganache sets a little bit and uh, this one I'm going to decorate with some Hershey Kisses and look how cute these are. They're dark and white chocolate swirls. So I think that would be perfect on top of this dark chocolate and white chocolate swirl one. And to add a little bit more color and give it this kind of a fine French pastry look, we can decorate it with some mint leaves. For the raspberry one, I'm just gonna place three raspberries in kind of cluster on top of the white chocolate ganache and of course as a touch I'm gonna add some mint leaves and look how beautiful this tart is gonna look and for the strawberry one I'm just gonna use fresh strawberries and since my strawberries are kind of on the larger side I'm just cut a little piece with the leaves of the strawberry and place it on the tart and because I want to add a little bit more color but not the mint leaves, I'm just going to sprinkle some of the chopped pistachios uh, along the side of the tart. And I think it's going to make it very interesting and very couture looking. And just look at our beautiful trio of tarts. And yes, these go back in the fridge 
until they're completely set and easy to handle. And after they've been set, well, this one is not quite yet because I was hurrying and wanted to show you what it looks like inside. But look at this tart. It's absolutely delicious. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye.